colleagues, dear friends. Looking at the audience, I can't help but think that if it's me who is going to talk about the language, it's only because he in Oviedo, I'm considered a good friend. This is the second time I've been asked to give a speech honoring a college. The first one was almost 10 years ago when my friend from Barcelona, Catalonia, invited me to talk in the first meeting about Professor Serratosa. I accepted with pleasure, but also with fear, since I believed that it was too big an hour for me. And yet, it was easier for me since I was younger. And because I, will, I was talking there about my things. And I had already several times discussing with Feli what I'm going to say. In other words, I had his blessing. I'm talking today about Professor Valenga, who is just in front of me. I am not entirely sure that if what I'm going to say will be worthy to him. But I won't be able to hide from him once my speak is over. Belenga and Felix are two persons who, who, who which whom I usually talk about chemistry. And it's therefore very difficult for me to isolate Belenga, the human being, from Belenga, the scientist. I am not, I don't want to make any particular effort in that, in that end. Professor Balwenda is considered today as one of the most creative, productive synthetic chemists in the world. His original and imaginative work in the preparation of less common by otherwise novel molecular structure has broadened the classical horizon of the field, increasing the diversity and allowing for the exploration of new territories. Three aspects of his work are particularly remark remarkable and worth of mentioning. First, he does not simply select his synthetic aims and target with exquisite care, but also proceed with the synthesis applying novel an elegant strategy that usually allow him to be the first to reach the goal. Second, he's able to create and develop new synthetic techniques, perhaps intentionally, perhaps with calculated ingenuity, in order to solve carrying a conundrum from a more general point of view. Third, when he achieved the synthesis of the desired molecule, he tried to find structural models that related to other natural molecules with an interest in biomedical research. It could be argued then that this contribution go far beyond the organic synthesis in his own trial and sometimes achieving to widen the scope of chemistry as a science. A quick evaluation of his contribution will clearly prove my point. It will convince you of the elegance, brilliancy, and applicability of his work. Along his career, Valenga has shown a tremendous freshening and imagination in the application of new methods of synthesis and strategy for building the desired molecule. His inarticulative reaction of carbon and heterocyclization hold problem promise for the construction of complex natural polycyclic molecules. The use of, of transition metal complexes in inter or intramolecular reaction enable him to form a variety of carbon-carbon 
and couple each other out on bonds at the same time, thus providing a great synthetic simplicity. Professor Belenga always worked further away than anybody else. His substrates and reading are super reactive. The best building I will only want to a right is an example of a commercial region that has been developed, developed by his research group and has proven highly effective in marking high iodine, with high iodine structures region that were once considered inaccessible. Now, I assure you, you are wondering, if these are the milestones achieved by Professor Valuenga, what did he have to discuss with me? Well, I must confess that in our conversation, it was him the one who talked here. Well, while I simply listened, perhaps making a few comments along the way in our conversation. I basically have a supporting role. He will start in the right end of the lab wall by starting his endpoint. We carry on describing his methods and finish the right front of my face with drawing of a chemical structure that I invariably consider impossible. I will then convey him my assistance regarding the existence of such a molecule. But he was always expecting my remark, always ready to blow his pen by showing the extra reflection picture of that very same impossible molecule. More than once, I tried to synthesize this impossible molecule using alternative pathway. But I systematically failed. It was impossible for me distinguish between the load bearing walls or supporting beams with simple partition walls. It was impossible for me to separate in that structure the wheat from the chaff. It was not for a loss when we tried to find synthetic alternative to his structure. It's a pity that the entrance examination opposition, we suffer for become university professors, change later on. Because my longest molecule were perfect for a particular exam called ejercicio de problemas. There was the next to last exam, and was that for the purpose of standardization, basically to put all the candidates at the same level. This exam enabled the board of the examiners to reconsider the ability of each candidate, each candidate and discard the result from previous exercise. Since the last exam was impossible, the member of the board were then forced to decide the result of this examination by negotiation deal and reaching compromise. As I said before, Sometime between lessons, he will let me talk and speculate about my eternal question. If science is a social activity, should never become separated from the real world that it tries to explain. If that's so, why some concept, otherwise considered as obvious facts, has never been properly investigated and remain as a gap in the literature. May I have the first, the, the unique diapositiva, please, the slide? I'm grateful to Professor Erradon, who allowed me to publish in our journal analysis a cartoon despite in the moment that Marlena and myself crossed the boundaries of life. And by this, I mean the line, the line that transforms polymers into biopolymers. The line that converts simple molecules in emerging biomolecules. 
the slide show the exact moment when the clock is starting ticking. As the picture has been manipulated to safeguard the identity of the character, if you look at it carefully, it's not difficult to recognize who of all these people were the source of inspiration for this cartoon. The longest expression discernment that Alice, when she went through the mirror, while the legends reflect his depth and ecstasy. The contribution of Professor Valerio has been acknowledged internationally, internationally with many prize, prize and honors. Following a chronological order, Alexander, Alexander Ball, Ball in 1989, Shawai, Dupont, Mercia Pandon, Elia Hans Goldwyn, also National Prize, also in in a chronological order, Albert Ibert Rola, Medalla de Oro de la Sociedad Española de Química, Doctor de Descanso por la Universidad de Alcalá, Premio Nacional de Ciencia y Tecnología, Insignia de Plata de la Universidad de Oviedo, Premio Jaime I de Investigación, Medalla de Plata del Principado de Asturias, Doctor de Descanso por la Universidad de La Rioja, etc. It's more than 600 research papers published in high reputed scientific journal are basically chapters selected from the more than 100 doctoral theses he directed. Professor Berlengel chemistry rests on younger researchers that develop his or her prologue or postdoc studies on his group. More than a hundred of his former students currently occupy position of responsibility in universities, research centers, and chemical or pharmaceutical companies. I believe that Valenga and I are quite complementary. He transverses the entire spectrum of chemistry, living for myself, with that in the spectroscopy hierarchy defined as far regions. I must admit that everything was easier with Professor Serratosa. I was always confident that after months or years without seeing each other, our conversation will carry on exactly where we left it. We left it. With Valerio and Alejandro keeps introducing new topics always <coughs> with a remarkable enthusiasm. In order to prepare myself, I always try to arrive early to our meeting so that Alfredo, Miguel, or Jose Manuel can give me the head of the, of the hot topic of the moment. By the way, I have never met a bad collaborator who spoke so well on his, well, his boss. They will always start by highlighting his last conference or by stressing how his H index had increased in the last year. El famoso indice H. For me, before the note of Professor Aguero, what in analysis, the age index was a factor that quantified the degree of hydration of a primitive species such as extremophilus, tardigrades, bacteria, etc., in general species that survive by forming cysts or by hibernation. The age index happened to be the ratio between water and protein content expressed both in grams of the biological substrate. When the age in this increase, the water contents also increase. Whenever I met with Valenga, I always found him a little bit chubbier, a bit fatter. But I refused to think that this was the result of increasing water content, but quite the opposite. I was convinced that the increase was that his organic matter, due to his organic matter, and therefore 
his, according to my idea, the age index was decreasing. Thank you, Professor Aguero, for also clarifying me this concept. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julio. Uh, now, on to add a move again. You saw yesterday what happened. <laughs> um, if one of you doesn't know what Francis is, Francis is was Professor Delgado uh, uh, so, Thank you very much for everything. I think that all of you have said this too, but I think that's only for this afternoon. Uh, after that, uh, I forgot, but uh, my good friend, so many years, oh, it's here. <laughs> 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 and I that you, you can disappear. No? <laughs> So many things. We have been criticized so many times. <laughs> but all the games. Okay, 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 okay. We have tried all our life to work together because he's interested in the chemistry. Especially to the speaker for the splendid presentation and for the considerable effort they have made to find time in the replete agendas. I come to Oviedo for far away places. The gesture is a demonstration of it. Um, that I really appreciate. Of course, also extending my appreciation to all of you. The last two days, have me feel something that I will never forget. <coughs> and that's it. That's, I just want to say a big thank you for the very work on my heart. Emotional words of Professor Barlonga are the perfect uh, closing for the symposium. I would like to join him and express the appreciation of the organizing committee to the speakers again for the extraordinary and stimulating talks that have contributed to give a touch of excellence to this meeting. I would also like to thank the, to everyone for your attendance and gather Professor Barlonga on these emotional acts. Finally, I would like to thank to Professor Barlonga and tell him again how much we appreciate his dedication and that we will to try to maintain alive your legacy. The last part of this act is a traditional speech where we could taste typical Asturian food and drink the fa famous 
sidra. For people going to the Spicha, a bus, uh, bus will leave at 7.30 p.m. from the Plaza America, right here outside the, the building in front of the church. For those uh, of you that will not take the bus, the Spicha is scheduled to start at 8 at the restaurant La Torres. I hope you have enjoyed this symposium. I'll see you soon in Oviedo for the next Barlunga lectureship. Thank you very much, very much.